Hey, my name is Anna. I'm a senior at Newville North. I'm going to be talking about the pneumatics board and I'm going to be demoing how to put together the manifold and solenoids and how to wire the pneumatic control module. I'm going to start with a quick overview of what each of the components on the pneumatic board are and how they connect to each other and then I'll go into some more detailed demonstrations. So to start, we have the pneumatic control module, which is labeled so you won't get confused, and we always abbreviate it to the PCM. Per its name, it controls pneumatics by signaling to the manifold which solenoids to activate. The PCM receives power from the power distribution panel and code from the RoboRio. The pneumatic control module connects to the manifold via this ribbon cable. I'll demonstrate how to wire these a little bit later. The manifold is what houses solenoids. Technically, a manifold isn't necessary to a functioning pneumatic system, but we like to use one because keeping all the solenoids in one place like this makes it easier to troubleshoot and trace air leaks. The solenoids are what actually control the flow of air. Like all electrical components, they are binary, either letting air through or blocking the flow of air. We use these orange plugs to block off ports where there is no tubing to make sure no air escapes the system. Air flows to the manifold from the air tank via the pneumatic tubing. On the robot, we can have multiple air tanks um, storing air, but on the test board, we only have one. Now, the air tanks, air flows to the air tanks from the compressor. Um, the pneumatic control module um, transfers power to the compressor and to the pressure switch. Um, and when the pressure switch is on, the compressor's electric motor um, starts creating air pressure, which it stores in its little tank, and then from its tank transfers via pneumatic tubing to the air tank where we store it for later use. Um, we, the, it, the compressor works at 60 psi, which is pounds per square inch, and air is stored in the air tanks at 120 psi. In order to know how many like PSI we're storing at, we have a digital pressure gauge, which just reads out the number right here when it's turned on. And an important safety component is the pressure release valve. When you open this valve, it releases all of the air from the system, which is really important in case something breaks or the system becomes unstable or just for releasing all the air before you put the board away. Um, it's a good practice to release all the air, plus it's a really satisfying sound. So I'm going to quickly explain how to wire the pneumatic control module with the rivet cable. The documentation for which um, solenoid pinouts um, go to which wires is all on Trello. You can find that under the electrical reference, but I'm going to explain how to do it anyway. So you're going to make sure that you're going to strip your, strip your wires about half of a centimeter and you're going to make sure that all the wires inside of the insulation are twisted neatly together so that none of the little wires on the inside are sticking out in different directions. And based on the documentation uh, on Trello, you're going to open up the port with a Wago, place the wire inside, making sure that it's all the way in, release, and give it a really gentle tug to make sure that it's not sticking out or anything. And you're gonna do that with all of your wires based on the documentation on Trello. So to secure the solenoid back in its little metal prison, you're basically just going to take all of the screws that come with it. There's six on top, generally speaking. Oops. There's six on top um, of varying sizes, one from this side and two from this side. The two that are on this side actually connect to the solenoid itself, so you don't have to take them out. Um, sometimes it makes the taking out process a little easier, but sometimes it just makes you lose parts, so be careful. Basically, what you're going to do is you're just going to plop your little solenoid back into its home, and then use a really small screwdriver to secure all of these screws in, and then make sure to put the casing back on as well. <laughs> 